Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. I am vlogging in my pajamas, which is not like me. This is like old Joe. Old Joe used to vlog in his pajamas. Then I gave it up, and then I was like, I won't vlog until I'm dressed and ready for the day. But you know what? I'm so excited because this is the first day on this side of the year where I have woken up and put on my slippers and dressing gown which feels so cosy, it's because it's very cold outside today. I think currently it's about nine degrees or something, which I love. I'm just making the dogs breakfast in their cute little personalized bowls that I bought them from, where did I get them from? Emma Bridgewater. I love it, that's friends. You've probably seen these before. And Ava. I always feel guilty, Ava has more food than Ben, obviously because she's bigger, but then I feel guilty because Ben looks at me as if to be like, you're feeding her more than me? But proportionally, they've got the same. Sit. Good girl. Go on. Bend. Sit. Not you, Ava. Okay, Ava, sit. <laughs> Go on then. Good girl. Right, I'm making my lemon juice and hot water that I have before my coffee every day. And my lemon squeezer. If only I have multiple camera angles, guys, that would be fun. The kettle has been boiled. Okay, I normally make Keegan one as well, but he has taken the kids, he's dropping them off at school. Yeah, what time is it? It's eight o'clock, just turned eight o'clock. It's the worst, when the kids are back at school again, on a Thursday morning, every Thursday morning, and some Friday mornings, it's get up, take them to school. Which, I've never taken them to school by myself. Um, actually, maybe I have once when Keegan was busy, but sometimes I go with Keegan. I think when I first moved in here, I want, I stuck to Keegan like glue. I don't know what, what it was, because I'm a very independent person, but I think it must have been moving locations. I was like, <laughs> so I uh, would go everywhere with Keegan, including the school run with the kids. And now we will do that. If, if Keegan was going to the gym this morning, straight after dropping the kids off, I'd have gone with him. Um, but he's not, he's not feeling very well this morning, so... Uh, he said when he's coming back, uh, when he comes back from school, he's gonna make a hot chocolate and get into bed. I'm not actually here today. I've got a very fun day. I'm off to see my friend Cherry. We're meeting in Sheffield. We're going to Meadow Hall. We're gonna hang out like we did last time. Last time I saw her, we did the same thing and that was probably February time. So it's been a long time. So I'm very much looking forward to it because I don't really see any friends up north. Only when I go back down south do I see my friends. And Keegan this morning was like, I'm really, I'm really glad you're going to see Cherry today and like you I think it'll be really good for you. <laughs> and I was like, that makes me sound like a loser, but I'm really glad as well because I never, I don't have any friends up north, so it's good to see some. But anyway, we're gonna go for lunch, we're gonna go shopping. I actually, obviously, I don't know if you've seen, I don't know if it's in this vlog, I vlogged about how I don't wanna spend any more money and now I'm going shopping. Um, but I'm only gonna buy things I need today. I do need some new pajama shorts because I've got three pairs of pajama shorts. They're starting to get holes in them and they're about seven, eight years old. So I think it's time I could treat myself to some new pajama shorts. And I want to get some new hand soap from Bath and Body Works. So but I'll take you along with me, guys. Good morning. I hope you're doing really well. Let me know what your morning routine is like. I'm going to make a coffee after this and I'm going to sit down on my laptop and just reply to some comments. Keegan's just arrived home and I'm, I'm making him a hot chocolate. I thought I'd show you our favorite hot chocolate options. It's only 40 calories per hot chocolate and it tastes really nice. You just make it with water, you don't even make it with milk. And it's very, very nice. So I definitely recommend. It's a quite expensive, that one is from Costco. When you buy the small tubs in supermarkets, it can be very expensive, but it's very, very good hot chocolate. I'm just making myself a little breakfast because I'm quite hungry. Normally I don't eat breakfast, but recently I've been really enjoying it. Um, so I am currently toasting some toast, frying some eggs. I need to wait for the yolks to cook because I hate runny yolks. And then I'll show you what toppings I put on them. Right, so I have Marmite. Got some Marmite on the toast. And here are some eggs, which are obviously too big for the piece of toast. It's not about the presentation, is it? And then I'm going to drizzle buffalo sauce over the top. I know I'm weird, but just bear with. Buffalo sauce, a bit of cracked black pepper. I know what you're thinking. It looks gross, but it tastes amazing. Right, first stop is coffee and cake. Hello, Cherry. Hi. Or in Cherry's case, peppermint tea. Is it peppermint tea? Yeah. And what have you gone for? And a blueberry muffin. I Lovely. should not be eating blueberry muffins, but... No, well, I said to Cherry, I was like, I'm not going to get a cake. Like, on the way here, I was like, I'm not going to get a cake. And then we arrived and we're like, hmm, cake. cake. <laughs> 
And then look what we spotted over there. Well, actually, I say spotted. This is Joey's main reason for wanting to come. The best shop ever. Yeah, got me addicted to their hand soap, so I'm gonna nip in there later. Right, we're having a, a lunch break. <laughs> lunch number two. <laughs> yeah, I realize we didn't film any of the, the shopping, but we're at Yo Sushi, which neither of us have been to for years. I haven't bought anything That's at That's all. a lie. Nothing to see here. Bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also bought not that much, but a few a few little bits and pieces. How much you spent on hand Shh, No, she, she's shaming me for, the, I'm not. for my addiction, which you got me started on. <laughs> <laughs> right that was lovely guys that was three hours it's three o'clock now we had a lovely lunch at sushi i actually didn't film very much guys just busy chatting away so should i give you a little haul i bought some very boring things guys but i'm very glad i stuck to my list pretty much got one thing that wasn't on the list Firstly, boring inulin. I use this to sleep. It's literally like a powder. It's a fiber, helps your gut bacteria and helps you sleep. So I got a refill of that. Got some plain black socks. Very boring guys, but I uh, went to a wedding the other day and realized that I didn't have, I had one pair of smart black socks. So needed. As I said, pajama shorts. Got these from Next to Two of them. I went the size up so that they should be nice and spacious. Yeah, as I said, I I don't think I I think my current shorts. I've got three pairs. They've all got holes in them and they're they're really old. So it was time to upgrade. But this was not necessary. I have a velvetizer, and uh, Leah actually bought me a velvetizer years ago for I think it was my birthday. And so I went to Hotel Chocolat and got these, which are the Everything Selection Mocha Latte. So you get a mocha latte flavor, chocolate mocha latte, hazelnut mocha, and caramel mocha. And yeah, really nice. It's basically chocolate granules and you add milk, mix it up in the velvetizer, gives you a lovely hot chocolate. Then last boring purchases. These were from Primark, um, which were an impulse buy, but we need them. They're only a pound each. And they're basically scent bags, whatever. Eucalyptus flavor, peony flavor, and cotton flavor, not flavor, scent. I said the other day when, when I opened our shoe drawer, shoe rack, I was like, it smells of oh, sweaty shoes. We need to get some scent things in there, so we've done that. And then I got four foaming hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. I bought this one last time and it's so nice. So I bought four. They were expensive as Cherry tried to shame me. She was like, I can't believe you spent 40 pounds on hand wash. As if she's never spent that much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cherry is also just as bad as me at spend. Oh, I say bad. We're both good with money, but we both enjoy treating ourselves to things. But these hand washes are going to last me a long time. I'm only going to get one out. And uh, the other one's only just finished. So I think it lasted a good maybe three months in the downstairs toilet. So technically, these will be like the hand soaks for a year. Anyway, I'm going to call my mum now and drive home. How long is it going to take me to get home? It was about 45, 50 minutes on the way here. 57 minutes. So not too bad, but I'm going to hit the school rush. Hey everyone, welcome to my bathroom. It is Sunday today. Where is it? Here it is. And I've been to the gym this morning. Today, normally on a Sunday, I like to do a little bit extra skincare. So I just thought I'd have a chat while I do it. We're in our new bathroom, by the way. Isn't it nice? Lovely, still haven't had a shower in there yet. But since I moved in here, or since even Keegan moved into this house a year before me, he's always just used the other bathroom because the shower in here before was too small to use because it was just a really tiny shower. So that's why we've replaced it with a bigger one. But out of habit, I just keep using, I keep using the, the main family bathroom. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, as I said, I like to do a bit extra skincare on a Sunday. This looks like blood, guys. And some of you, if you're squeamish, or if you've got an overactive imagination, <laughs> you might not want to watch this. But this is an AHA and BHA solution, which is very good for your skin, but it's quite intense. Um, it's like an exfoliant. Guys, I'll be honest, don't fully know. Like with most of my skincare stuff, I thoroughly research it before buying it and using it. And then I forget what it does. So Pasture obviously read into this and I saw people doing it online. It stings a bit <laughs> and it looks like a vampire facial, doesn't it? So I think that's why it went viral, but it's very good, but it does like a stinging now and you're only allowed it on for 10 minutes. Set timer for 10 minutes. You just leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off with water. The things I do. It's always funny when people say, you don't need that. 
your skin's great, you don't need that. That's why. That's why I have decent skin is because I look after it. Let me, oh no, I can't get any clothes on yet because I need to wash this off and I'll only get it on my clothes. Let's have a little chat then. Yesterday was a very busy day. I was doing some branded work on a Saturday for, um, for a brand that I'm working with. I'm very excited to be working with them. And when it comes out on Instagram, guys, you're gonna know exactly how excited I am. Um, but I was filming in Manchester yesterday with Keegan. Involved a lot of embarrassing myself in public, so I was a bit nervous, but got it done. I need to edit that today. And I need to edit today's YouTube video. It's Sunday, I normally release a video on a Sunday. And I haven't edited one, so today is just gonna be, I think, about chilling on the sofa, doing some work you know, watching some TV. So half work, half pleasure. And I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm going home tomorrow. I'm going to see my family, my granddad as well. He's coming down, so I'm gonna go see him. And then I'm going to London for a, a press night of a West End show on Wednesday. I'm gonna go with Lucy. And then I'll be back up here on Thursday. And then Friday, my family are coming up here for my birthday weekend. So yeah, it's a very busy week. This afternoon, I'm just halfway through editing a video and I thought, I'm gonna treat myself to a velvetized hot chocolate. Leah bought me this. It's a velvetizer which basically makes lovely hot chocolate. And the other day when I went shopping, I bought one of these selection boxes. I'm gonna go for a chocolate latte. I think I need to fill this with milk. And I'm gonna use oat milk because I don't like regular milk. Okay, and then we pour in the chocolate flakes. And they're all like this. They're all real chocolate flakes, but with obviously added coffee flavoring in these ones. And then you basically, you're supposed to put the lid on, but I'll show you what it looks like. It heats it up and whirls it all together. Let's just put that on. And I think it'll be done in a couple of minutes. There we go. A couple of minutes later and it is finished. So it comes with a really nice handle. Lift it off like a kettle. It doesn't quite fill a mug. That's a lot more coffee than chocolate. But I quite like that. That is very nice, very creamy, very coffee-ish. But it has a sweetness to it. It just doesn't taste like a traditional mocha. Nice, a little bit different. What I could have done is add some extra chocolate flakes with no coffee flavor. Like I have this classic 70% drinking chocolate, salted caramel drinking chocolate. And it's all chocolate flakes. It's not like powder. But um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that. Ignore the messy sink, but I forgot to tell you, to clean it, you put some washing up liquid, fill it with water, and then put the whisk in, and then you switch it on again. And that'll give it a good old clean. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've just been editing that and seeing the velvetized hot chocolate. I'm like, should I have another one? Uh, but I'm finally catching up with my videos, guys, because that was just from two weeks ago now, I think. Not even two, one and three quarter weeks ago. So I'm catching up. Before you know it, I'll be filming a video and posting it on the same day. However, I've just realized it's catching up for me, but not for you guys, because actually by the time you see this video, it will be later in October, won't it? Never mind. I'm getting, I'm getting through it and I'm getting prepared. If you guys could see my outfit right now, look at this. Fluffy jumper, red trackies, my Crocs. I'm just a style icon, guys. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up because that really helps. And um, subscribe if you haven't. I post videos every single week and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.